Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome to Monster Sanctuary. Now, we've already finished uh, the story of the game, as well as most of the extras. What we're covering today is is uh, a few of the suggestions I've gotten from you guys. Um, starting with one in, uh, in, in particular given to me by uh, John, spelled with, spelled with uh, uh, J-H-O-N, who asked me if, if, if I might do a guide on how I put together a team um, kind of from, from, from the ground up. So not so much like which teams are good, but just how I approach building teams in the first place, which I thought was, which, which I thought was, was kind of a cool idea. I've also gotten some other cool ideas uh, from you guys, which I've been trying to keep note of. Uh, for example, um, uh, Dark, o Dark Omen um, wanted me to mention that uh, you can donate monsters and eggs uh, for items and cash at, at the Sanctuary, which you, to which you totally can. And I had not mentioned before, but he's right. Uh, let me swing on down here and I will show you where. It's quite simple. All you gotta do is talk to this NPC right over here. This guy here. He will ask you if you wanna donate a monster or an egg. The higher the level they go, as you can see, I've already put some in. Um, you can you, you can you can donate them at at any level, and they will grow stronger as you do. Um, you can also just give them an egg. Um, when you reach one, I think it's a hundred uh, monsters donated. Um, there's an achievement for that as well, and it just, you you can, you can get money and items from just giving monsters you don't want or need to the sanctuary. Um, so that's definitely an option uh, that you should look into if you have any spare monsters lying around. That's definitely one of the best ways to just make use of them. So that's a good point. Thank you, Dark Omen, for r reminding me to mention that. And another one uh, um, series, I'm, uh, um, another few episodes I'd like to do, uh, which was su uh, suggested by Pika Drew, uh, asked me if, if I might do evolution comparisons uh, because he was curious uh, which monsters evolve if, um, and which ones are actually better or worth evolving. So, like, the Magma Pillar, of course, becomes a Magma Moth, and what's the pros and cons of doing that? Because, of course, their stats do change and their skills do change as well. So the, we might even find some that you may not, may not want to evolve. But for today... Uh, we're going to be looking uh, more at how I approach building a team, less, uh, you know, like, like, like what, what, what we actually come up with, you know, uh, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, but the one team I've been wanting to take a look at is this one here. Uh, I've been trying to make one with the Vitrog uh, that is some kind of a spirit-based team. Because um, when I go to start um, making a team, essentially my, my first order of business is, trying to, is asking myself what I want out of that team. Uh, for, for the Vitrog, for example, um, I looked at its skills. I saw that it has a lot of cool aging mechanics. Uh, it has a lot of good support buffs. It can, you know, it, it, like it, he's got uh, barrier. He's got glory. He he makes aging better for his whole team. He's got mana focus already. That's just pretty great. He makes channel. Uh, sorry, he can he can. Um, let you multi-channel, which is pretty awesome. He improves what channel does for you. It increase, increases your healing and shielding by 15%, which is all really, really good stuff. You know, and uh, that's pretty darn cool. He can also strip buffs off of enemy targets, which is very handy to have as well. He's a very good all-around uh, monster that I would love to see more of and see and see what I can do with. I then noticed that the Mega Rock um, has some abilities that makes channel better as well. This one channeling balance here increases uh, damage dealt and reduces damage received off channel. So these two alone already have a lot of synergy built into them um, and they're both spirit monsters which doesn't necessarily matter unless you have another effect that actually benefits off of spirits which is kind of why I wanted to have the Azurok involved because he, he, he uh, increases uh, spirits. Um, it gives them a higher chance to dodge. But honestly, like, after playing around with it a little bit, I've not really been overly satisfied with how it's turned out. So I kind of want to take this back back, back to basics and see what our other options are. And really what that kind of boils down to, first and foremost, is going into your journal and just seeing what even qualifies. Now, we do have some more spirits available to us than we did before because we have all four of the Spectral Familiars now who are, who are themselves all spirits, which is kind of cool. Uh, I've not looked, at, I've not looked at, at, uh, at the wolf toad or eagle yet um the rocky is a nature spirit uh, of course uh, so that's an option too we, 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 the the monk is a spirit warrior just 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 kind of going through and finding all the different creatures that, that might even apply to what you want but then again um one thing it doesn't tell you in there is of course what their skills actually are and we're, we're, we're specifically looking for something that gives us some kind of synergy for spirits so um i know from experience, I think the Frosty does. Frosty gives us uh, buffs are more effective on yeah. See, so buffs are 15% more effective on spirits. That's definitely tempting, uh, especially especially since we're already trying to to to, to stack the stack the daylights out of um, channel. 
because it has all those other nice effects, this would build into that even more. Plus, Frosty provides some nice shielding, whereas the, the Rock uh, has some as well, but is more, more of our physical attacker. So, you know what? The Frosty might even be a good fit there as well. That's one possibility. Um, the Spectre, of course, is a spirit as well. Although it has um, a built-in ability which is good for mages, not for spirits. Although, worth mentioning, um, the Vertrog is a spirit mage. So that, that, that's that's kind of how this process goes for me. I just keep tinkering with different things for a while. Because, you know, t technically speaking, if the Vertrog is, 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 is a spirit mage, you could benefit from both of those things. Um, the Spectre is also a spirit mage, and he's a cult to boot. And the Frosty is 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 a nature spirit. So unfortunately, the Frosty doesn't doesn't benefit from mage stuff, but the other two do. So if you wanted to go full magic powerhouse, for example, you could do that. Even you could switch in. Um, if I can find one. I'm sure I have it on me somewhere. Uh, do I not? There he is. You know, this team, for example, you've got the Vertrog with his uh, channel. Although, of course, you're losing out on some of the channel niceness now, now that the, the rock is gone. So that's kind of a, kind of a, a, a drawback. Um, but you've got the... Um, no, it's spirits. I am wrong. Mm -hmm. That can kind of build in some shielding as well. Brings Congeal to the table. No, you know what? Maybe I don't want to do that. Although, there's nothing in this guy's kit that can actually cause chill. So, Congeal doesn't really doesn't really factor in for, for the Vitrog very much because he just doesn't have any chill. Frosty does, though. So, I wonder. Hmm. It, it, it's a shame sometimes that, like, certain abilities just, like... Because, <clears throat> like, the Frosty and the Spectre and, and, and the Rock and Vitrog would all go very well together. But you can only have three. So, you know, you, you got to choose carefully. Um... I'll stick with the Mega Rock for now because I like that channel synergy these two have. And I, I like the buff synergy this thing's got too. Although, it's it makes me sad that there's no there's, there's, there's no congeal damage on this team. Because, like, this... The, the Frosty is great at, at giving chill. It even multi-stacks it, but it doesn't have congeal damage. None of these guys do. But neither of these two like really does anything with chill anyway. Like, they can't cause chills at all. Um, like not even, not even as a result of like other actions. Like, like, like the the Vertrog is not a debuff uh, uh, monster. Neither is the Mega Rock. You know, so that's okay, I guess. We'll stick to the Frost. The, the, the Frost. The, the main reason, we, the main reason we even want the Frosty as as a potential is just for the sh is, is he's, he's great at shielding. He's he's gonna add more more um, more more power to our buffing. The damage is coming from the Rock and from from the Vertrog, physical and. Magical. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Again, like the, the, the like honestly, a lot of my a lot of my my team building is very just like let's just try this, let's just try that. It's it's very haphazard, I suppose. Um, but, but it kind of works for me. Um, so that's what I would probably try if 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 I was gonna go for uh, a spirit team, I, I would I want to try out these guys. So let's go ahead and clear off the equipment of our guys here. You can always re-stat them later, or re, re equip them later if we need to. Just make sure your guys have the best gear they can get. Um, Vertrog, of course, benefits from having a high mana. Um, matter of fact, with his um, dark shifted um, dark shift bonus here, mana potential, the more mana he has, the stronger he gets, which is a little bit insane, honestly. So he's got mana from his diadem. He's got mana from his ribbon. He's got mana from his mana ring. He's just mana. He has 678 mana, which means that he's got 1% more damage dealt and 1% less damage taken for every 20 mana. He has 670 mana. So that's, uh, of course, not quite 680, unfortunately. So it doesn't count for the last one, but let's say 660 divided by 20 would be 33. So that's 33% more damage done and 33% less damage taken um, based off of his current mana, not 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 max mana. But that's part of why he works so well in a ch in 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 a um, a channel team because you are minimizing how much mana he is spending, keeping his mana high, keeps his damage and uh, damage high and, and his damage reduction high. So that's kind of why I wanted him paired up with the Rock. Throw in some shielding from the Frosty here. And you're in even better shape, you know? 
So, I may need to tinker with this thing's build a little bit. I've kind of gave it ice shield instead of uh, regular shield, which is not itself... Actually, you know what? This stacks off of... Like, it has less base shield, but it stacks off defense and magic, which is the two best stats the Frosty has. So, you know what? That might be fine after all. Defense focus is good. Chilling wind. Barricade. You can give barrier. What? These guys... Sorcery and regen, channel and sidekick. I know that uh, this guy can give barrier with defensive presence if, if I want to respec him for that, which I kind of don't yet, but he also gives combo buffing, which is fine. He can barrier himself. Which will be fine, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a whirl. Because this is only a 4% chance to apply barricade. I might, I'm, I'm, I might ditch that. It's not a very high chance, honestly. So, what I'm going to do... Reset his skills. I'm going to give... I'm going to... Keep the skill potion for my... For, well, you know what? Why not? We'll give it a whirl. We'll, we'll, we'll trust him with it. Do I have any level ups? No, I don't. That's fine, though. He's missing a few points, but it'll, it'll, it'll be okay. So, we're, the whole point, we're, we're, the whole point we're, we're, we're taking him is he, we, we want shield. So, defense focus for sure to help boost the strength of his ice shield. Um... His allies will do more damage when he's shielding them, which is, of course, the whole point. He has the barrier buff. Oh, he he has barrier buff. What am I talking about? And channel. Look, more channel. Which is good, because, again, we're stacking channel up until the rafters anyway, so... That's fine. When applying a buff, can have a chance to, to, to remove debuffs. That's kind of nice. That's the one thing this team lacks, I guess. Well, no. No, no. I'm wrong. I was going to say that they, that they lack restore, but uh, the Vertrog has double purify. Which is going to be four debuffs stripped off every a, a, with, with with every healing wave, so no, that's fine. Um, re reduce all damage by 50, by fifteen percent when shielded. That's also what, what, good. Uh, when applying a buff, apply shields. Healing yourself, apply a uh, shield to allies as well. Yep, there we go. Uh, apply a shield equal to magic uh, to to uh, to a, a, a percentage of magic value. That's good. Um, chill is still a useful thing to have, so why not? It will lower their um, mana, which is good for us. I'm going to take a pass on Barricade. He can already put up sa uh, safe cast, honestly. And I don't think we can stack Barrier. No, we can stack Might. We can stack Sorcery and Channel twice over. But nobody stacks barrier, so there's no point in having it multiple times. Um, ice hail. I might actually take ice storm. Eh, no. Well, 75. Does he have blizzard? Polar wind. Can heal allies. Really interesting. Roar shield removes debuffs and shields all. That's quite nice. Um, flash freeze. Again, this, this this guy's more mostly here just for shielding, so I'm not going to worry about his raw damage potential too, too much. I'll give him his his uh, defense proc, because, of course, that's kind of... You know, his, his, his magic and defense procs are going to be where a large portion of his extra damage comes from. This will generate extra... Yeah, he, he, he'll, he'll um, generate a shield based off of his max mana, which is quite nice as well. All about the shielding. And his neutral damage tree... Just gonna go straight to the bottom. Oh, uh, deep freeze is tempting too, though, honestly. But again, he's not he's he isn't our damage guy, so I'm not gonna overly worry about it. Um, give him the defense proc, defense proc, magic proc. He's got all of his good shielding stuff. Um, I guess we could throw on. These two, just to make sure his shield, like, just give, give him all, all the good shielding biz, because why not? And then, I guess, from there... You can give him a, an extra, extra uh, jump to his defense, maybe. I mean, really, his health uh, is, 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 is... His health isn't as, is, is kind of, kind of a, his worst stat, but... He's got a lot of ways to fix that, except for these two. And 290 health, more health... Well, he's got three of them, actually. Well, maybe. 
That's kind of tempting in its own way. I mean, you already... Hmm. Let's give him cooling, just to improve his odds of chilling, because he, he doesn't need that, so... Let's give that a whirl, shall we? We need to give him... Is there a magic defense one? The wand, yeah, the wand is perfect. Magic and defense, exactly what he wants. Uh, his mana regen comes first, as always. Mana and mana regen. The tome. The bracelet is defense and mana regen. There we go. 202, uh, 202 mana should honestly be more than what he needs with all the channel going on here. We really shouldn't have much of a problem with that. His max, his most expensive spell is 220 anyway, I think. 220, 160, yeah, no problem. No sweat. So, with channel, that shouldn't be a problem at all. And then, I mean, he's already got some defense, some mana. Let's just go for... I mean, the Bracer is kind of a tempting option in its own way, to give him some more health. Give him a bit more survive, because he is kind of weak right now, honestly. The uh, wizard hat kind of gives him more defense as well. I think, I think, I think, I think, I'll, go, I think I'll go with the, with, the, with the wizard hat. But I'm intrigued by the by the bracer um, and needle as options as well, because like that's more mana, which works into into um, what talent was it? Well, his um, <laughs> where to go? One of these did a thing. Right, yeah, when when, when 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 attacking he gets a buff. Uh, no, a shield. That's right. It's here somewhere. One of these does doesn't. This one. Yeah, that one. Fifteen percent of his maximum mana on, on for, for, for for each hit. So he can generate some serious shield that way, and then of course he shares his shield with his allies, and that's all good stuff there. So that's a possibility. Um, I'm gonna go with defense for now just so it makes his main shield as good as as strong as possible. So that's fine. Uh, the rock Already has defense. Um, of course, he has has a, pr a lot of problems with mana regen himself, so had to kind of crank that up. Huh, so I only have a plus four for him. That's unfortunate. All right, well, that's fine. Um, and then more. Well, he has three man. Wow, three three mana regen items. That's a lot. Um, depending on how well the channel stacking goes for these guys, we might be able to take some of that off and give them some more defense or health or something. Or more, more, more attack, maybe. But we'll have to wait and see. Um. I almost want to give channeled heal to, to, to the Vertrog as, as, as a backup. I'm not sure which, which ultimate each of these, each of these, each of these, each of these... Yeah. Sorry. Not sure which ultimate they'll each take. I kind of want to take Aurora's shield for the Frosty, as that it's, that's his role, is shielding. The Rock, I want to give him something big and physical. Um, Boulder Toss is a, is a tremendous, a tremendous hit. A Thousand Leaves shields your allies, which is nice, but it's more the, 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 the territory of our Frosty. Meteorite Shower shields too, though. Does fire damage too? Not bad. I don't know. Pr probably boulder toss, just just for that overwhelming. Sin uh, uh, like if, if you if you need something dead, that'll about do it. And I guess we can go test these guys out now. I don't have a lot of worthy opponents around here. Let's go over to the abandoned tower. I guess I'm not really sure if they're gonna receive these guys well or not. I haven't really thought about whether or not the, like these teams are good against us or vice versa because I mean. Depending on where you fight is a big is, is, is a big hand in how well you do because you know everyone resists different things. Um, but it's okay. We'll 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 get a rough idea of, of how well things work here. Sutanes are weak to what physical? I think. Let's give it a try. No, uh, weak to earth. That's right. Well, we do have earth. Uh, we they're all weak to earth. So that's that's our rock right there. Let's see how we do. All right. So first up, we want to have. Let me actually shift this around a little bit. Um, ice shield should be top. Well, I like uh, me personally. I like organizing things a little bit, so I know like 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 my first move is it, like the buff is always here. My main whatever I want to do is right here, and then extra options are go below that. Usually how I organize it. So first things first. Um, 
Honestly, let's just start stacking. Uh, of course, the Sutsunades can, can take buffs, can't they? Yeah, that's a problem. Fine. Ice shield first, then. Put on enchantment. Some healing and such going on there. I do like actually that that the uh, the rock and the frosty both have channel. That's quite nice. I I I, I do like that. Let's um, get to work, I guess. Hopefully, they won't be able to take all of our buffs so quickly. And I'll say if 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 they take the frosties, I actually don't mind as much. Because in this particular fight, the, the the character we want to stay buffed up the most is the Rock, because he's the one doing all of our Earth damage, so that's kind of fun. Let's use Safe Cast to get our channel going. And... We can always use Arcane Diffusion to just take some buffs back off them, for neutral, and it does, it does neutral damage as well, which is always very nice. And then let's use a, uh, an Earth move and see, see how we do. I mean, it's not overwhelmingly powerful, but it's a solid hit. I guess the, the one big problem here is that, like, the, the, um, the rock is not itself massively powerful. He's got a good attack stat, but he doesn't, like, his, 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 his offensive moves seem to leave a little something to be desired there. I'll, I'll have to look at them in a second. But our, our Frosty is keeping up really well with, with, with the shielding, which is nice. I'd say overall we're not like banging down any doors, but at the same time we're, we're doing respectful damage. I do want to look over the, the rocks uh, talents though, because I didn't really optimize those before we came into this. All right, so keeping our shields up. I do like how much shielding the frost can put out. Like it's keeping our our shields up pretty good. Which is nice. Um, actually, gonna could use gravity. Although works better if they're highly defensive or highly health, and none of these three really are. So just just keep trying to take these keep, keep, keep these buffs from getting too too stacked up. I will say, I think, I think this team's biggest drawback I'm finding so far is simply that they're too reliant on one person doing the damage. At least at least in this fight, because it's only, these are only Earth Source. If, if we were in a fight where things were more open to getting hit with magic, or like air especially, I think the, the Frosty and, and Vertrog could like contribute more. That said, we do have neutral, uh, neutral damage too. So you know what, why not? Let's uh, chip in, shall we? And stack in some more. It's four channels now. So I'm kind of curious to see how much it'll do for us. Some of these buffs off of the um, the bug. You have him dodging all of our hits now. And of course, the longer the fight goes, the stronger this team gets too, because the uh, the rocky or the big rock will um, or mega rock uh, gets gets age stacks as well. So he'll just get progressively more powerful. Those cleansing flames are always a bit of a drag, though. There we go, no more buffs. I kind of don't want to waste the, the damage on him, honestly. Push him off next turn. It's not bad. I, I will say that overall, I've never had a whole lot of luck with um, teams that rely on, like, direct damage. Um, which is what this team kind of does. Like, they, they, they don't really do a lot of debuffing or anything like that. I'd say they hold their, they hold their own fairly well. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not, like, overly disappointed or anything. Um... 
But I definitely think that... Because I've, I've, I've been trying to find new ways to build teams, but I really just can't seem to get away from the fact that you do so much more damage, or seem to do so much more damage, with um, dot teams. You know, uh, Congeal like, has, has been my, my go-to over this entire playthrough. You know? Like, teams, like teams that, that, that rely on, on pure damage and buffing certainly can win, but usually they're better on keeper duels, where like, like time isn't really a factor, because you'll win eventually. So yeah, like, like, I will say, that took us seven turns, which is not exactly, you know, ringing any speed bells, but we did it very safely. Like, we didn't take a scratch. Like, like, look, look, like, our, our health, our, our health uh, percentage is 100%, and 118%, 118% execution. So, like, yeah, we didn't do it quickly, but we, we were extremely safe. So, I can kind of... Like, I, I definitely don't think this is, this is, this is the kind of team I would use all the time. They're undeniably strong in their own way, just maybe not for going quickly. I do want to try Boulder Toss, though. Because that's a... He, he has a very, a very, a very large attack stat to leverage that with. Um, Golden Age... Right, I've, 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 hey, sorry. I've forgotten he had that one. He removes debuffs as well when, when, when people age. I think that's, that's the one thing that Frosty's missing is aging. If their whole team had age, it would be pretty, pretty strong stuff. I wonder, is there any spirits that do have aging? I think these guys do. Would they have shield? Hey, well, maybe, hang on. Is there, is there a, an angle there? You have age? Yeah, I think all these guys do. Aging. And this is air... and fire. What about the toad? Because the toad is the defensive one, right? He's got... healing, not shielding. Okay. He's got... yeah, he's got life wave, or healing wave. He's got... heal. The eagle's got mostly damage. The wolf. No, the wolf is mostly attack as well. Hmm. I was kind of hoping one of them could, like, fill in there. See, the wolf has, has, has Outlast as well, the same one that, that the the uh, Vertrog has. Which doesn't stack, so that's not really any helpful to us. But... Any other age stacks here? Aging... Oh, see? The the Toad has, has the same channel thing that Vertrog has. Channeling support. Interesting. Which is kind of a bummer, because it means he, he, he doesn't stack it up either, so... What about you? Anything you have with the Vertrog in common? Phoenix, Surge Strike... Shock... Multi-Shock... No, not really. It does, it does have aging, but it doesn't synergize very well with the rest of the team. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the Azurok, of course, is a spirit as well. He's got buff steel, which is nice to have. Can definitely be be a be a fast way to power up your your uh, Vertrog. But my problem with this guy is he doesn't synergize well well with the rest of the team. Like he he doesn't, he doesn't do anything for them that they don't, they don't already do. So that's not an option I want either. Is the Diablo a part spirit or not? Oh, he's nature. Oh, he's a cult. Okay. Spirit. Um, I mean, the changeling is all types. I didn't. I didn't even consider the 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 the, the, the changeling. Um, the changeling does have a shield, but it's a single target shield, which is maybe not quite what I had in mind. Two of them actually. Hmm, okay. Well. Um, Hanatos. Is a spirit. Does Thunder Thun Thun have shielding? I don't think so. No, he does, but only the single target variety. Again. Hmm. Cult Bird Mage, Aerial Construct, Spirit Construct, the, the Polter Ruffin. Polter Ruffin has shield, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, 
Yeah, he's got fire shield. Defense and magic, which he's admittedly not as good at magic as the frost is, but still has shield. Can multi barrier as well. Has spell uh, spell shield and barrier for a buff. That's not half bad. Mana focus, multi burn, burning desire. Apply shield to the party whenever enemy receives burn damage. That's kind of tempting. Um, can apply glory to itself, or I guess this way, you you probably take firestorm for more for like more burns spread out. Hybrid shield. Cold toss applies burn for sure. You know, there's a certain there's a certain there's a certain angle to that I can kind of get behind. But what 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 what, what I wanted to do first though was go over Mega Rock's stats or oh, sorry um, abilities. He's got see like the shielding leaves really is his best Earth move. I, I thought maybe I'd taken a different one or something, but no. Oh, Primal Rage increases damage uh, dealt, but uh, for every stack of age. There we go. So yeah, like, he very much is just that 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 character that gets stronger the longer the longer, longer, longer the fight goes on. I guess there's nothing really wrong with his build. He's just static glory, right? Did he have glory on him? No, I didn't get a chance to. Maybe throwing a forge in there would, would be a good idea for just 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 to get like glory on 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 him, because. Um, for Trog has Static Glory too, and that's not a unique aura, that can stack. So, that would be 30% more damage right there, between the two of them. That's worth, it's, that's worth trying out, why not? Let's find one more fight to do real quick. Well, I want to give these guys their fair shake, you know? And again, this is, this is mostly just to show you guys how I make a team. This is basically what I do, I just find something that I think might work, I, I try it out. Um, like I said, I still I still more or less am of the opinion that uh, debuff teams are the way to go, but I, it's worth trying, you know. Shielding up first. First round is always just given over to defense and buffing and preparation. All right, the um, having having the uh, the uh, the uh, regen. Buff is nice too, honestly. It really is. And the the uh, uh, Vitrago will, will be able to help more on this one too, because because these guys are weak to fire or magic anyway. That's three channels on the rock already. That's nice. I'm happy with that. Went into attack the rock. Didn't even matter. Cleansing flame. Again, I'm 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 not really I'm not I'm not overly bothered if the cleansing flame the frosty. He's not our attacker, so I don't really care. They have not, and if I have anything to say about will 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 not ever dent our shielding or, or our actual health bar. So that's fine. And we're gonna want to get on in there. Only the Sutsune is really weak to the rock here, so. I kind of want to just use Heat Shimmer and just go for it, but I, 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 I want to get rid of the Sutsune as well. Um, so once, once she can stop taking away our buffs, that'd be nice. Which reminds me, I, 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 I need to remember to use Forge to get, to, to, to get some glory out. That's what I'm forgetting to do. Okay, so let's do that before I forget to. I really should move Forge onto like a higher tier or something so I can actually see it more. I mean, the punch combo is neutral, but let's go ahead and put Forge on the bottom just in case. He's not a bad shielder either, honestly, so that's kind of fine. Um, we'll have... We won't do much, but we'll try and ch chip into this a little bit. That way the Vertrar will do more damage. Chill stack in there. Like I said, I wish this team had congeal. It's the one thing this team doesn't have is any manner of debuffing. But I I, I, I can't help but want that because it's I just love my debuffs. But it's okay. Peel off some of those annoying little buffs that she's got. Let's 
It's honestly, like, this, 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 this is, is one monster I'm actually really fond of. She fills a really cool role in just how annoying she is when it comes to buff teams. <laughs> The Grulu kind of kind of exists in that same sort of ballpark, I guess. Yeah, we're, 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 we're just not doing enough damage at this point. But the glory is now on, which we wanted. So we'll go ahead and, and finish off the uh, Sussanai sus here. Her dodge chance might get in the way of that a little bit, but yeah, see, Do like like just there's so many ways to, to to lessen the damage from physical attacks. You know, you can shield them, you, you can you can dodge them, but debuffs, it's more consistent. You can get re you, I mean, you can heal them, but it's easier, I find, to just reapply debuffs than to have to reapply damage. Now we can go see what what what, what the Vitra can do when he's been maybe given a, a bit more of his own free reign. Not bad. Those bugs are quite are, are pretty solid too. away and then the rock at this point is getting so darn strong we can use, use, use whatever we want all that missing you know that like it, it, it really really baffles me how 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 much agility can save your life in certain situations and I really I really have to uh, ha have to respect the fact because like I, I mean I I personally thought that the, that the Vitrog had a pretty good ability to like take away buffs but they still have buffs, you know what I mean? Like, like they've, 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 done, they've done, done a pretty fair job of maintaining the buffs they've got. And whereas the Grulu, for example, can just strip those right off. So I'm, I may need to, I may need to, to, because I've, I've had several team suggestions from from, from other people that, that that worked in worked in the the uh, Grulu, and we, I think I think I might try one of those out next time around. Because that thing is just scary. I mean, um, honestly, I wish I'd remember that he had this for the for, for, for the for the for the for the Sutsune. That's my bad. That's a big rock. Oh my god! I did not think it would be that big. <laughs> Holy Toledo! Hmm. Ooh, almost killed me. No, don't do that. So I get for not shielding. See, I I I I I forgot myself for a turn there, and I and I tried to have him actually, you know, do some do some uh, some damage. My fault. Yeah, so like it's 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 definitely not a, a team that's, that's gonna go. That's, that's gonna do, oh, oh, a badge, nice. It's not a fast team. It's a very safe team. I can kind of get behind that. But I think I think what I would like to maybe experiment with, if if I was gonna um, stick with them long term, I, I probably would want to test out uh, seeing if, if if I could find a way to work to work in uh, more more um, like debuffs somehow. Although they work pretty well as it is, uh, I will say that um, an, an alternative to this one could maybe be like uh, if hmm, 
then again, the Frosty provides the buff, um, the, uh, the, the buff booster. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. I will say, like I was saying before, I like, I think, like, I I'm not personally a giant fan of this particular setup. I, I, I like it. I like the idea of it, but it's not killing things as fast as I want it to. Uh, I will say that for like for, 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 for like keeper duels though these three would, would make a, a pretty solid team would be my my general um, assessment um, I will say as well oh I, one thing I, 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 should, I should mention also uh, it says um, I, I checked out the uh, the steam the steam news for this game and they're coming out with more updates one of which will be um, actually bringing out a new game plus with higher difficulty. So to, um, I might hold off on doing like the lower level comparisons of, of like of like how I do team building at different levels for that because so I might go back through on 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 New Game Plus on like a higher difficulty and really put myself to the test on that one and see 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 what, what we can come up with. Um, but for this one, I just wanted to kind of, kind of cover like how I approach team building, an example of of, of of the kind of team I might build, and then like test them out a little bit. I think we did okay for ourselves. Um, for the next uh, video, I will probably be doing. Um, I, I, I might start the evolution comparisons, or I might try to few the other teams you guys ha have have uh, suggested. Either way, I hope you guys look forward to it. Um, thank you all for checking out the, for, 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 for for checking out the video, and um, I'll see you guys soon. Um, if you'd like to, to join us for our streams, we stream every day at 6.30 p.m. Um, yeah, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And, of course, we have our uploads Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, as long as I'm able to, to get them out. And um, if you want to join our Discord, we have one of those, too. So thanks so much for, for, uh, for watching the video, you guys. I'll see you soon. And for now, I'm Monster Matt out. Take care of yourselves because you're worth it. And bye-bye.